everybody, Mike here. Have you put your RV in storage for the winter? You know, you can't use it, it's too cold, so you winterize it and you got it stuck somewhere. Well, are you checking up on it periodically? There's a lot more than just dropping it off that you need to know about. This week, we're going to talk to Jordan Coons, who's an expert on RV storage in the interview of the week. Well, joining us right now from National Indoor RV Centers is Jordan Coons. Uh, Jordan is uh, going to help us understand what's involved in storing an RV. Jordan, uh, first of all, thank you very much for being a part of the uh, podcast and the interview of the week this week. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I appreciate it. Let me start off by um, talking about some of the things that people need to realize when they put their RV in storage. Now, a lot of people, they'll just keep it in the back of their lot, uh, in their driveway, or maybe a neighbor's friend out in the country, or maybe one of those outdoor centers. So let's talk about storing it outdoors, first of all. What are uh, some of the things they need to be sure about? You just don't want to walk away and leave that RV out there for long periods of time. Help us understand. Right, yeah. So depending on the where you're at in the country, some people do have to winterize it, uh, make sure all the water, everything's drained out of it so you don't have any problems there. Uh, here in the Vegas, we have extreme heat, and so a lot of people will have to put covers on and cover the tires, disconnect batteries. There's a whole lot of work. Make sure mice aren't getting in it or anything like that. And so there's there's a decent amount of that goes into making sure your RV is protected, security, 24/7 surveillance, all that fun stuff. So outdoors, uh, most of the people are dealing with cold weather right about now, and of course that saps the batteries and do they need to put uh, a charge on those batteries do they need to disconnect them what do you do about that yeah so batteries i mean a lot of people batteries should last five to six years but i think one of the common things that people replace on their rvs are batteries every one to two years just because there's a lot of maintenance a lot of upkeep that goes to the batteries if you don't if, if they die you lose a lot of life from that and making sure that they're not in the cold weather, that they're warm conditions, um, and that they're charged. If they go below a certain charge, it will kill the life of the battery. So if you keep your battery out in a vacant lot someplace and it's cold, I mean, I'm looking at the, as I'm recording this in Michigan, the temperature is going down into the teens tonight. You yeah. get out there for a long time. Uh, does, you know, what, what should you do to your battery? Do you, do you, if you can't plug it in, do you disconnect it then? Yeah, you should disconnect it, take it somewhere where it's going to be warm, maybe inside your own garage or inside your house or something like that to, to protect it. And depending on the battery, some batteries have water levels in there that you want to make sure that they stay full as well. And then there's the problem. We did a couple of podcasts on the problems of mice infestation, rodent infestations. How do you keep rodents out of a vehicle that's uh, in storage? That's, that's, that's a trick in itself is, far as keeping rodents out I think that's kind of more luck than anything else you can put traps around it um, but you don't want to attract them with the traps uh, as well and so that's that's just kind of my experience just luck and so you want to make sure that you're keeping a good eye on it making sure looking for nests stuff like that making sure you don't have any signs that you can so to speak see to clean up yeah they don't need a lot of room to get into an RV, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, they, any little hole they can get into, they can come in through the engine compartment. I've seen unbelievable damage pictures. The one common denominator is almost all of those are either stored in a field someplace, and yep. we do call those things field mice for a reason. They live in a field, <laughs> so they're looking to get out of the out of the cold. Um, and then they, they can do such damage. So I guess you need to check those holes and then also make sure that you check your RV frequently, right? Is, you yeah, know, check it out. Know. Look for look for nests, look for holes, start it, make sure it's running so they didn't chew through any wires, anything like that. But then that goes back to the batteries. If you got to go back and start it periodically, then you got to haul the battery back, hook it up, connect it, make sure it's holding the charge and check everything out. So I guess what I'm hearing you say is you don't just leave your RV someplace. You've got to do a little bit of maintenance and work and, and check on it. 
Which takes us to the other type of storage, which is what you guys do. Uh, you have four national uh, indoor RV centers around the country. Uh, wh where are they, uh, Jordan? And uh, tell me why we would want to use one of those. What, are, what yeah. do you offer? So we are, we're located in Dallas, Texas, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I think one of the biggest reasons is the fact that it is completely indoor. So whether uh, we are climate controlled as far as heaters in there, so you don't have to worry about the winterization. Uh, depending on which area we're at, we have swamp coolers or AC units in there to help it keep cool during the summer months if, you're, if your RV is in storage during the summer. And we, we do take really control as, as far as pets. We have uh, traps all throughout our buildings, making sure, and we're always keeping an eye out because we always have staff on there 24-7 uh, keeping an eye on everything for you. What do you do about the... Uh, we also have... Uh, sorry, what was that? The, what do you do about the batteries when it's stored indoors? Yeah, so when we, when we hook up, uh, when we do our indoor storage, we have 24-7 electro hookup to all of our spaces, um, either a 30-amp or a 50-amp breaker, depending on what your RV needs are. So with us, you don't have to worry about disconnecting it, hauling it back to the house, making sure it's staying warm. Uh, we will we will plug it in and even periodically check the water levels inside the batteries to make sure that they're always staying full. We can prolong the life of the battery to where it should last. Now, when we talked a little while ago, one of the things that uh, I think our audience would be good, you're opening up a new center in Las Vegas and a new center in Phoenix uh, in the new year. And yeah. you offered uh, the people who follow the RV podcast uh, a special break. What is that special break? Yeah, so those that are listening here and, and type in the code that we'll give you, it will give you the first three months free uh, when you sign up with the year lease with us. That's a pretty good deal. Let me yeah. give everybody that link right now. That link is uh, roadtrekking.com slash storage, S-T-O-R-A-G-E. We'll put it on the video and we'll put it in the show notes for the podcast. Uh, so three months free and that's in Phoenix and, and Las Vegas, correct? Yeah, if they go to the Phoenix location or the, the Las Vegas location, we can give them that deal. Now, what, how big are these facilities? How big are the RVs? Uh, what, and what are roughly the, the monthly costs for putting a, an RV in storage? Yeah, so our Vegas, uh, our Vegas facility is 216,000 square feet. Uh, we can fit roughly 300 RVs in there, plus or minus. We'll take any length of RV, Class A, Class B, Class C, pull trailers, fifth wheels. Um, we'll take anything in there. And then our, our Phoenix location is slightly smaller. We'll be closer to around 200 uh, RVs in there, plus or minus. And so. What, what are the rough, rough costs? And they may vary. I don't know if they vary between markets, but rough idea of what, uh, what, what it costs. Yeah. So, so usually our, our, so like in our Dallas location, our Atlanta location, we're charging $12 and 75 cents a foot. Um, we do offer, since our, our Vegas location and our Phoenix location are newer, we're offering free enrollment where people can get uh, down to $10 per foot. And that includes the electrical and a, and a whole lot of other things that we have on site. I suppose your seasons out there are kind of different in Vegas. Of course, it's people don't use their RVs as much in the summer as they do Correct. in the north yeah. and, the, and the Midwest and the, some of those states. Uh, well, all right, so that link I will give everybody again is roadtrekking.com slash storage and uh, three months free uh, if you go for a 12-month lease uh, in, uh, in either Phoenix or in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, that's a pretty good area all around that uh, you've got a lot of RVers there. Uh, and Jordan, um, you mentioned that it's climate controlled. Uh, what other things? I mean, it, you know, it's a fairly significant cost you know a monthly storage fee but yeah help me understand why i might want to to do that instead of leaving it in the field <laughs> and all the good, work. good question so I'll, I'll kind of go over all the things that you get when you store with us because you're absolutely right when you look at our price compared to another storage facility it's it's not the same um the difference will be the fact that we do have a valet service and so a lot of people don't really like parking it when you go to those outdoor storage facilities they always kind of push them nice and close together uh, with us, we will valet the, the RV for you. So uh, we'll park it, plug it in, check it. Another really nice thing with us is when you're ready to pick up your RV, if you give us a call, let us know what time you want it to be ready. Uh, what will happen is one of our RV techs will go through, check, and prep your RV for you. 
Um, so they'll go through all the tires, make sure the tires are filled up to the correct level, so that there's no cracking, no dry spots, no flat spots. Uh, they'll do the same thing for your batteries, making sure your batteries are in good condition. You can then request fresh water tanks to be filled, refrigerators to be turned on, because that's, I mean, that takes, that takes a while. If it's been in storage and you want to get on the road, it's going to take you a few hours to get your RV checked and prepped, and we'll do all that for you uh, for free, regardless of how often you take it out. Um, and then we do have dump stations on site, uh, propane fill up on site, and then also a full, a full service team on site that can do any maintenance that you would need when you get back from the trip. One of the things that makes this uh, pretty attractive besides all of that work that's saved is uh, knowing that if there's a hail storm, your RV is protected. I've seen what hail can do, uh, particularly uh, in Texas and down south. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. I can see where that would be a, a lot of peace of mind knowing that it's in a secure uh, indoor facility. Uh, the, uh, the other you know, neat thing, I, is there, I, I would wonder if there's a better insurance rate people can get too because uh, you know, you're, it's, it's under a little more care than being out in the open. Yeah, we always recommend people talk to their insurance, uh, whoever they have their insurance through to, to let them know that it is protected and it's out of the weather and any weather damage, sun damage, anything like that. Hell damage, like you mentioned, is you're not going to experience any of that. So I appreciate you being with us. I think the takeaways for everybody who's listening to this is one, if you are storing your RV outside in a field or in somebody's lot or in their backyard, you got to go check on it, make sure the mice aren't getting in. And you also want to make sure your batteries are being maintained or, or turned off or pulled out. Uh, so watch over it. Don't just leave it there because uh, you don't want to start it up in the spring and suddenly find nothing's working. And um, if you're near Vegas or if you're near Phoenix, you can get three months free from National Indoor RV, RV Centers. Now, again, again, I want to give it by that link. It's roadtrekking.com slash storage, and it'll take you right to the National uh, Indoor RV Center special special place for this. Our guest has been Jordan Koontz. Jordan, thanks for being on the podcast. Thank you so much, Mike. It's been a pleasure. And uh, best of luck to you guys as you open up those two new facilities in Phoenix and in Las Vegas. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks to Jordan for the interview. And again, if you want to take advantage of that special deal for those of you who are close to Phoenix or Las Vegas, or if you want to check out any of their other facilities, just go to roadtrekking.com slash storage roadtrekking.com slash storage and you'll be connected and be able to take advantage of that uh, free three month storage that they're offering for those new customers in Phoenix and Las Vegas. Hey, I'm Mike Wendland. That's the interview of the week. Thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube.